Hello everybody, welcome back for some more Alice Marriage Returns. Last time we ended up in this uh, rage place and now we're gonna continue onwards. I did it. <laughs> so yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. Actually, not really. It's been a while since I've been uploading this. Because I got a new PC. And that is really awesome. Yay. So now, I don't have to worry about... Yeah, this is normal. Cat. Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Oh, Sometimes we don't understand it. I think I understand this story. What the fuck? What is this? Mommy? Do I go in here? Oh. Oh, that's quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little prance. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident. You want someone to blame? Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death That's a nice is poem. the ultimate equalizer. <laughs> All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, princess. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I try to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However, this turns out. Consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived. And it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream caterpillar may know how. Mm-hmm. And it's red, okay. And now it's loading. When fear comes in the door, truth flies out the window. What? Oh, the blood in my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead and more's the pity. Oh, what did he want? What they all want. Money didn't earn. What were you thinking, button into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in their inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped. Eyes like pinwheels, drooled, occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. 
Gone off some lurkers, common as cockroaches. And those poor tykes of food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders' feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you... call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing. As you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hooking's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. Don't I know it? Well then. That's a weird cutscene. Also, am I the only one that uh, is like... After you hear, heard a rhyme, or like someone talking in rhymes, so next time you hear someone talk normally, you always expect him to, to be rhyming. So, so you kind of think the, the sentences in your head like it was a song or something. Well, this is a pretty place, kind of. Wilton Radcliffe. That's all I can read. I like the uh, the uh, music box version of the song. Alice Little, Mr. Radcliffe. Ah, oh, you're back. I suppose you better come up. Mind the latch. <laughs> it sounds like from the from the. Uh, YouTube video, uh, Wingardium Leviosa. <sighs> you know that that one anim that one Harry Potter animation. <sighs> I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. Sunday, por porcelain. Oh, so that's how you spell. Okay. Mr. Radcliffe says is the Ming Dynasty's finest beautiful shapes. Is the Ming Dynasty's finest Beauti beautiful shapes, best colors, and most prized decorations. I suck at reading. Apparently. You do have my rabbit. Forgotten your manners? And what else, I wonder? You abandoned it at Rutledge Asylum, my dear. We've been over this before. In a huff as usual. Who's oh, it's the guy when, when he collect the memories. Flummery. I've stolen her rabbit. Ridiculous pretext. She's here about the fire again. All the mad child wants to talk about. My report found her family dead by misadventure. She won't accept it. It goes on and on about her killing memories and her need to know the truth. The alleged truth is the fire began in the library when the cat knocked over a lamp. The blaze trapped her parents and sister upstairs. Sister Lizzie never even unlocked her door, died in her bed. The guilty cat always sets her off. She denies it, makes no sense, it can't be, etc. Agreed. From the outset, Alice was my candidate for the pyromaniac. The girl had a fixation with fire. I once remarked that I thought she might have had a larger role in causing the tragedy. She suffered some sort of psychotic episode. This is why you should leave fire alone. You should always be there. Did I rip his head off? I wanted yeah. to. It's a goddamn it, cat. You had one What's job. Left of my brain will explode. Is it mad to pray for better hallucinations? Perhaps I'm fated to expire right here. I'm wondering what is so important about that rabbit. That is important, apparently. 
All movables and effects are gone. Nothing but dust, stains, and the smell of tobacco. No sign of the coroner's report of my rabbit either. God damn it, Connor. Oh, there's something. What? Hello? Ah. I'm certain I've been here. But this view isn't very vaguely reminiscent. Perhaps there's some new construction? Perhaps it was summer. Perhaps I was distracted. Shut up! A tight? Oh. The barricade discourages squatters. Suggest he didn't sell up. Just left. Quickly. I can't get through this way. But I recall the place had a door back in the back in that open on the lane. Dude! No! My nose is here, Jake. So is what's going on here? There's mushrooms burning. Oh! A what? Whoa, this is... Okay... That escalated quickly. This bloody ruin! It's corrupting all of Wonderland! And how the fuck Seeking did change your from the wicked world? Perhaps things only look like they've gone to hell. You're not that good a liar, and I'm not that stupid. But uh, something a bit less calamitous would have been welcome. This unmitigated disaster is your doing, and it will get worse. Your train keeps a hellish schedule. Get moving. Time waits for no one. The change has begun. The train is perfectly capable of terrifying me, Cat. You should find okay. another job. Is there really so little hope? There's even less, and if fear paralyzes you, we are lost. Oh, I was about to leave the video, but apparently I can't cause enemies. Ow. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, well now I'm gonna leave it here for today. This was a really interesting video, it was a lot of cutscenes, ooh, physics, oh! And... Anyways, I'm gonna leave it here for today. So next time on Let's Play Alice Banner's Trans, we will figure out what the fuck just happened. And maybe we'll go up there. Or maybe up there. I don't know, maybe it's through there. We'll find it out next time. So, thank you guys for watching. Yes, I see that one. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please do like and you enjoyed. If you really liked it, you can consider subscribing. And as always, see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>